Before we go on, I want to take just a moment and review some of the things which we learned about functions in an earlier uh, module. A function is basically a way of importing some code from somewhere else. We don't actually have to know anything about the code that makes a function work. All we need to know is just what should we put into the function, what does the function do, and then what will we get out of it. I, the example that I gave is to think of this as sort of a machine where you dump something in, the machine does something, and then it has an output. So two very simple examples. Uh, there is a square root function built into R. So if we say SQRT parentheses and two, and don't put anything else, just put that on a line and hit enter, then it will calculate the square root of two and it will evaluate it and display it on the following line. If instead we want to assign that answer to a variable or to a named object, then we can take the function, use the assignment operator, and then assign it to a named object. So in terms of the machine, the parentheses is the place where you're going to put something in. That's what's known as the argument. And then whatever is on the left side of the assignment arrow is basically where the output goes. So put the number into the machine and the output comes out into a variable. Some functions, such as the one that we just saw, are uh, built-in functions. They're always available. You don't have to do anything special to use them. And we'll see some examples of that in the next section. Uh, but it's also very common as well to import functions by loading a package. So there are many, many, many kinds of functions available. And one of the strategies of R is to not load every possible thing you'd ever want to do. If you loaded the code to do every possible thing you ever might want to do, then R would be way too big. It'd use up too much memory on your computer. It would take too long to load. So the strategy instead is to modularize uh, the functions. And then you just load the parts of the code, the packages, that you need for the project that you're working on. So we'll talk more about packages later in this lesson. You can also write your own functions. This is a more advanced feature and it won't be covered in this module, but uh, it is certainly something that people do in R. So returning back to the R Studio console, let's try out uh, doing some of these functions. So if I say square root of two, and then just hit enter. It evaluates the square root of two and shows it to me. Or if I want, I can assign it to a variable and I'm gonna try the alt minus sign thing again here. Now, when I evaluate this, it doesn't show me the answer on the screen because it's assigning the value to the variable x, but I can see that it is up here in my global environment. Or if I just hit x and hit enter, I can see the value down in the interactive console. 